Matt Kelly pitches Oak Hills past Victor Valley in CIF second round action. The Bulldogs beating the Jackrabbits 3-1 on the Victor Valley High School campus. Matt Kelly strikes out eight in firing the complete game win, overcoming a very tight strike zone in the early going. Matt, how tough was it at the outset with that strike zone being uh, the incredible striking strike zone? That strike zone was small to start off, but when you got more into the end of the game, you start getting wider and wider. But at the beginning of the game, it was tough. I had to get the more ball more over the plate and make them hit into outs. Julian Macias drives in. Jonathan Trujillo with what proves to be the game-winning run. It comes with two outs in the second and puts the Bulldogs ahead 2-1. to one. Yeah, I just knew I needed to uh, just, drive them, just drive the ball, honestly, sit back, uh, get ahead of it. Uh, it was a pretty good pitcher, he threw hard, but uh, I just got in front of it, drove it. It was exciting, it's cool. Jonathan Trujillo gives the Bulldogs an insurance run in the fourth, driving Jacob Rangel across with the one out single. Jackrabbits five game winner Eric Olivares works himself out of a jam in the first. Joe Dallatore's base hit to the left side sends Julian Macias to second. Julian Macias had walked to lead off the game. Joe Dallatore, the leading Oak Hills hitter, the senior third baseman hitting 424. Eric Olivares gets Brandon Bullock on the fly ball to right fielder Tommy Murrieta for the second out of the inning. The Bulldogs load the bases, Julian Macias advancing to third on a walk to 347 hitting cleanup hitter Zach Becker. The bases full threat brings the pitching coach to the mound for a conference to plot the strategy against Adrian Villarreal, one of two Bulldogs with home runs this season. Eric Olivares extinguishes the Oak Hills threat with the inning ending strikeout. First of four this day for the 5'11", 220-pound senior workhorse. That count will bring to 59 strikeouts in his team high, 52-plus innings pitched. Victor Valley scores their run in the first, capitalizing on Matt Kelly bases on balls to the first two Jackrabbits batters. Then the wild pitch enabling the Rabbits leadoff hitter to reach third with one out. Mikey Prieto breaks for the plate on contact. The Bulldogs concede the run to get the out. Eric Oliveras, the RBI on the ground out to shortstop Julian Macias. Jackrabbits lead 1-0, end of one. Steve Rubio gets the Bulldogs rally started in the second, a one-out single over the infield. Jackrabbits right fielder Tommy Marietta getting it back in. Steve Rubio, Bulldogs junior, who enters the game hitting an even 300. Steve Rubio advances to second on the pitch to the backstop. Another pitch in the dirt, and Steve Rubio is on third. Jonathan Trujillo walks, putting Bulldogs on the corners with two outs. Jonathan Trujillo steals second. Catcher Michael Carroll's throw, nobody covering the bag. Steve Rubio trots across the plate, and the score is tied at one. Julian Macias follows with his clutch base hit, the sharp single to left. Jonathan Trujillo scoring Bulldogs run number two. Tenth RBI on the year for the Oak Hills Junior shortstop. How does Eric Oliveras respond? As you would expect from a team captain, co-captain in this case, a shutdown inning. Ringing up the Bulldogs number three hitter on the call third strike. Then fanning the Oak Hills cleanup hitter. Victor Valley's leading hitter on the year is Mikey Prieto. He is hitting 395 coming in. Last season's DSL Player of the Year singles with one out in the Jackrabbits half of the fourth. This base hit in his final game of Jackrabbit, raising his batting average to an even 400. Michael Carroll drives the first pitch he sees in this at-bat 
to left, two of Victor Valley's total of four hits on the day off Matt Kelly, coming on back-to-back -back pitches in the fourth. Matt Kelly gets the Jackrabbits three hitter and RBI leader on the hard slider for the second out in the inning, then gets out of the inning when Victor Valley's cleanup hitter lines sharply to shortstop Julian Macias. Yet another home team insurrection comes up empty, but we have not seen the last of the Jackrabbits mounting a threat and placing runners in scoring position. End of four, still two to one Bulldogs. Oak Hills does cash in on their rally effort for a run in the fifth. Jacob Rangel is advanced to third on the sacrifice bunt. Jacob Rangel's two hits raising his batting average to 319. The Mojave River League co-champions hitting 326 as a team. Jackrabbit's first baseman Gabriel Munoz makes a diving run saving catch of the line drive for the second out of the inning. Gabriel Munoz, a Victor Valley freshman. One sidebar to the drama riding this very windy playoff atmosphere, the questioning of close calls on the base paths as well as the strike zone. The Bulldogs runner just does get back. Here, a call challenged by Jackrabbit's coach Juan Mejias. A challenge in amateur baseball does not involve reviewing video, but rather requesting a discussion between the umpires to see if another saw the play differently. When the call stands, it fuels mounting discontent by home team players who will be warned about the nature of their chatter. John Nathan Trujillo makes the call on the close play at third significant when he singles up the middle, driving in Jacob Rangel with Bulldogs run number three. Jackrabbits receive warning number one. Now fortified with a two-run lead, Matt Kelly ramps up his strikeout machine, swinging strike three on the slider away. Called strike three on the next Jackrabbits batter, we go to the sixth, three to one, Bulldogs. The drama and intensity reach greater heights when Victor Valley returns a base runner to the base paths in the sixth. Umpire in chief Chris Moyer halts play, calling timeout and summoning Victor Valley's coach with another warning for the unsportsmanlike chatter coming from the dugout. If a third warning is issued, the coach will be ejected and have to leave the playing field. This will happen shortly. Victor Valley survives a base running blunder when the Bulldogs misplay an opportunity to pick the runner off first. Matt Kelly's stamina and endurance coming into play. He is coming off a shoulder injury in his last start. Did you feel stronger as you went? Uh, I did, uh, especially after coming off a shoulder injury uh, last game. Felt stronger this game. Lady Luck appears to be turning the cards in favor of the Rabbits when Brett Bowers' line drive is misplayed. Had it been fielded on one hop, it would have been an easy throw to second to nail the lead runner. Instead, the Rabbits bring the potential go-ahead run to the plate. Nobody out. The batter, Victor Valley's cleanup hitter. Matt Kelly induces the pop-up for the first out. Still runners at second and first. The runner on first the potential tying run. The fly ball is deep enough for Michael Carroll to tag up and get to third. Two outs. And then it will be Matt Kelly punctuating the high drama of the situation himself. But Matt Kelly will kill the rally by picking off the Rabbits base runner on first to end the threat and end the inning. How big was the pickoff? Oh, that, that pickoff was huge for us. Uh, I wasn't really trying to pick him off, but it happened. It just so happens the Bulldogs' defense keeps giving the Jackrabbits new life in the seventh to keep 11th hour rally efforts very much alive. The swinging bunt is allowed to roll, and it does not roll foul. This brings the potential tying run to the plate. New life is given this batter when the pop-up is caught by the 25 miles per hour wind gusts and not by Bulldogs defenders. 
The second out of the inning comes when freshman Tommy Marietta whacks the line drive to right fielder Steve Rubio. The Jackrabbits are down to their last out, still down two. With leadoff hitter and leading hitter Mikey Prieto on deck, the Rabbits' last batter goes after the 2-0 pitch and grounds it back to Matt Kelly. Oak Hills wins the round two matchup between DSL and MRL co-champions with a final score three to one and advance to their quarterfinals home game against Torrance. It's exciting knowing we're the, one of the best in the high desert and uh, we just gotta keep going. This isn't, this isn't the last game. Congratulations Thank today, you. keep it going. Thanks Thank a lot. You. Thank you. Video Sports Action Highlights brought to you by High Desert Sports Training, where athletes of all ages improve speed, quickness, endurance, and strength on state-of-the-art equipment. High Desert Sports Training is offering a speed and agility training special directed at baseball and softball teams now that season's end. From June 1st through August 1st, nine sessions for up to 12 athletes, $1,000. This is the biggest price break High Desert Sports Training has ever offered. The off-season is your prime time for improving speed, quickness, endurance, and strength. $1,000 for nine sessions is a $400 price break. Must pay up front to qualify. High Desert Sports Training, two indoor batting cages, two baseball and softball pitching machines, enclosed major league distance bullpens. Call 760-948-3333 to register or for further details. High Desert Sports Training, 17485 Catalpa Avenue, Suite B9, Hesperia.